And I'm actually uh, recording this as I upload part 42, so... Uh, <laughs> yes, it's pretty amazing. It's very amazing. Uh, look at... Oh! Uh, I'm sure we could do this. Alright, bow it up. Do it. There it is. <laughs> Saves us some time. Alright, look over here, you magnificent bastard. Oh, wait, no, he's not gonna look over here. Never mind! Never freaking mind. Oh, right. Have to be in the past for this. Damn it! Alright, gotta make my way out. Out uh, there, good sir. I'm hoping that. Oh, damn it. What the hell was that? Hoping I can make my way back into this door, uh, even in the past. Because I don't see any other way to uh, deactivate the time stone other than walking out. And I might want to get rid of that Bull Goblin just now. Right here, because he's going to be shooting at me. Yeah, no, you're not. Screw that. Could have gotten a monster horn out of you, but screw it. You're not. Your monster horn ain't worth it. And, geez, look at all those freaking Bull Goblins. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Let's just get them all killed in the present. It's freaking crazy the way they just, like, instantly disappear and turn into bone. It's like they stood there at the exact same spot for years. Hundreds of years, actually. Hang on real quick. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, my, minor act my manager actually called me this time around, and he was making sure my schedule was uh, set, because he was asking me if I wanted any extra days and stuff. And I definitely can't have any extra days once school actually starts to... But yeah, I can't pick up any more days after uh, school actually starts, because, yeah, I'm not going to really have much of a chance, because I'm going to be busy at school Mondays through Thursdays, and yeah, oh wait, crap. Son of a bitch! That guy's in the way. So, yeah, can't take any, uh... Actually, can I just shoot in there? Oh wait, it's too high for me. Damn it! They thought this through! Bastards! Alright, fine. We're going to have to shoot up way in there. Yeah, I see it. I see it. There we go. Damn right. I'm gonna have to deal with this guy. Hey, no. I'm gonna deal with this guy first. There we go. Hey. Jeez, ah, I wasn't even aiming at him that time. Hey. I wasn't even aiming at the freaking uh, Beemos and somehow, yeah, you guys saw that. Managed to cut him down to size somehow. That makes plenty of sense, and let's go. Let's go! Yeah. There we go. Jeez, I love using the C button. Though it's still kind of finicky, because I still manage to uh, pull back while pressing C. God damn it. So, yes. Holy crap. Do it. Somehow that works still. Oh crap, I, saw, I didn't see that one there. Get the hell out of there. Damn it. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Somehow that works. Somehow that still works. It still baffles the crap out of me. But, you know what? Screw it. Somehow, like, blocking a sword, or blocking a freaking laser with a shield, it doesn't even, like, bounce back to them. It, like, they get so shocked. It's like, holy crap, that wasn't supposed to happen. And they get, like, an uh, overload or something like that. So is squid carving. Why that? Squid carving? Key to the control room? Yes. I, I think we've seen designs like this all the time, so we don't really need to know this. We gotta make our way to the very bottom of the ship this time. Or, er, back to where the boss key was at, or the door was at. God damn it. So yes, yeah, a squid carving. That, I don't know, what? Uh, well, it is a ship. Of course, they're gonna be encountering, like, aquatic life, but I don't know. Why the hell would they have a carving of the aquatic life? Man, screw it. I don't need no freaking monster horns. You guys make it tempting, but no, I don't need a good set. And yes, I want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. Because Toby woke me up like at 6 a.m., which isn't that bad, honestly. But yeah, it would be. I would have been preferred. It would have been preferable if he did not wake me up at all. Like if he slept in with me. Because, yeah, that's not good. Or, yeah, I actually stayed up playing Xenoblade Chronicles last night, and it's not boding well that, uh... It's not boding well that keep, Toby keeps waking me up. Every single night. Every single morning, I mean. I mean, if, so if, if it was 5 o'clock, then it'd be understandable. I'd just, like, throw him with my parents, since they were getting ready for work usually at that time. But he wakes me up right when they're about to freaking leave. I'm like, damn it, Toby. You missed out on your chance. 
So saving now. Let's get the hell out of the something like that. I don't even know. So hello boss door. Yes, I went through this a lot easier than the last time I ever played this. And yeah. Kinda glad for that. And uh damn, close. And maybe if I were this way, maybe? I don't know. Get in there. Eh, damn it. The other way. Probably. Ah, yeah, can't remember this one. This one seems a lot more elaborate than the other one. So, yeah. Uh. No, not that way. Damn it, me. Yeah, figure it out someday. <laughs> Yeah, this one definitely confuses the crap out of me compared to the other ones. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell, man? Uh, is it that one? Oh, that one. that one seems like it. What the hell? Why won't it fit? Yeah, crap. Well, it looks like a skull now that I look at it. Sort of. Not really, though. Okay, yeah, this one's confusing the crap out of me. I think I'm using the exact same pattern. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Got it. Jeez. I guess look for the eye. Screw you, squid. Huh. Okay, yeah, in this room I got completely lost because I thought you'd have to like try doing something with these the first time I played this. I'm just like, what do I do here? And then I realized you gotta walk out. So yeah, you make your way all the way to that room just to walk out of it again. So, yeah, so considerable size and of course by I kind of figured we were under attack once we uh, saw those freaking tentacles the moment we walked in there. So she mentions Skyward Strike, and you're going to have to use it a lot. If you haven't used it enough up until now, then yeah, you're going to be using it a lot more here. Look at that. Somehow that works. Oh crap. No good sir. No. I don't know. I kind of like this concept though. It's just like, oh shit. Now we got to escape the freaking thing. Now we gotta get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> little squeaky thing right there. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like some old Donkey Kong shit right here. Whoa, where are those even coming from? Oh god. And the hell out of here, buddy. Somehow that works. <laughs> I, th I was trying to do like a horizontal one. And... Oh, wait, never mind. Ah, or somehow I thought that would work, and regardless, but no, never mind. Look at that. Oh my god. Run, Link. Run, you magnificent bastard. With the bow and arrow. And the claw shots. Save them, just... Like, if need be, save those and not yourself. Huh. Since an evil presence on the other side of this door. 90% chance it's the primary body mass of the creature whose tentacles are destroying this chip and, and are trying to rape Fi. Yeah, don't want that to happen. Or maybe we do. There are some sick bastards like that wanting to see Fi getting tentacle raped by this boss. I <laughs> know, uh, that's uh, probably not me, Shifty Eyes. Oh, that's a convenient locking. Abyssal Leviathan Tentalus. Honestly, this is like by far the most unoriginal boss in this game, I must say. I mean, it's my favorite dungeon in this game. Just like my boss. Yeah, no, not even, man. I mean, there's the fact that you gotta fight these tentacles with Skyward Strike and such, so yeah, that's the only thing that's original about this whole thing. But it's your basic, generic, huge boss with the huge eye that's huge everywhere in this bitch. 
you just gotta move out of the way with the tentacles when they try grabbing you or else they will grab you and try to throw you off or some shit like that. And yeah. It's as generic a, as a boss as it can be. Guy with the huge eye, you got a bow and arrow for a reason, make good use of it. Yeah. And of course he gets knocked down, and guess where you have to slash? In the freaking eye! Seriously, and he looks so generic too, oh look, it has tentacles for hair. How very freaking original. Yeah, that's like his unoriginal... Like, this is the most unoriginal boss I have ever seen in this entire game. Never mind, get it. Uh, uh, wait, oh crap. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, damn it. Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there, look. Okay, look at that. There, got one. You just gotta cut off enough tentacles to actually get the boss to show up. Yeah, you mean. It might not want to lock onto it as you're touching the Skyward Strike, because then they will grab you. Do, 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 do. There we go. I just gotta wait for it to show up again. Seriously, the most unoriginal boss. I can't stress that enough. When I first played this, I'm like, seriously? This is like so painfully obvious what I gotta do. Thing is, though, it's gonna keep moving around, so if you aim at it with your arrow, it's gonna probably move out of the way like that. That's the one thing I don't like about this boss, too. Other than the fact that it's unoriginal, it, like it moves like right when you're shooting at it, and it's like you miss the eye completely. I also saw this one video about there being a glitch in this boss where I think either you use the gust bellows or something else. Like it's an item you're not really supposed to use on this boss. And then it like freezes up, but I don't know if that was like good. Okay, I'm gonna get out of there. And the book you mean. Hey, yeah, there we go. I wanna try getting two with one, but nah, I kinda doubt that's a possibility. Oh crap. Damn it! I slashed that in like the wrong way. Damn it! I'm trying to do freaking vertical or not vertical, horizontal this time. One time I'm trying to do horizontal and you guys are just like, no, no, I'm gonna do vertical. Yeah, damn it. Damn it, Fi, what the hell are you trying to do with the sword? Yeah, damn it. Oh crap. Son of a bitch. So many tentacles, sir. Look, just take her. Look. Fi, give yourself up to the god thingy tentacle rape guy. Come on. There you go. Oh, at least this time I managed to hit him. God damn it. Him, her, it. I'm assuming it's a her. Because, yeah, that long ass hair. And, yeah. Kind of reminds me of Medusa. That's the one thing this boss has going for it. It reminds me of Medusa. Like, the way its hair is. And the way it controls it. Other than that, it is, like, almost completely unoriginal. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is, like, eh. Watch out for those. And, yeah. Just watch out for those. Eventually, it will be destroying the very bottom of the ship, so you want to make your way up here. I'm just glad we never have to fight this thing again. Because <laughs> honestly, this they could have been a lot more original with the boss of this ship. I mean, like... Like, they could have had the cap, like, the pirate captain, like, be the boss of this ship, but nah, they decided to save that for the mid-boss. Or, like, for the boss to get the bow and arrow. And that seemed just, like, so wasted anyway for this right here. Oh, look! The things are coming alive! Oh, damn it, son of a bitch! So I don't want to slash the fuck out of your sword so you would avoid getting killed or something. Hey, the hell I didn't make you. There we go. the hell out of there. Yeah, this part, it just gets incredibly easy. It's just like, oh, look, it's using its air to try to kill you or something. And look, down like that. Just get the hell out of here. Thank you. Eh. <sighs> I knew I was going to go on a rant about how unoriginal this boss is. <laughs> how unoriginal, I mean. Seriously, uh, god, man. If I don't, uh, at least he didn't show up again. But I'm pretty sure, yep. Hey, look, the ship saves us some time. But first, let's just grab this heart container. And that makes for our 13th one, I believe. <gasps> Excuse me. And we can just get the lane straight away.
She really likes getting set on fire, I must say. Whoa. Well, then again, there aren't any walls, so yeah, holy crap. Bye, Cast Medio. <laughs> <laughs> she almost kills Link with that. God damn it. It kind of fits. Look at that. She's blue, the fire's blue. It's all well and good. Yes. I kind of like the upgraded for this, but eh. But still. Then again, what do you expect with wisdom? <laughs> the flames of Nairu have transformed your blade, expanding Fi's power. She can now help you use your dousing abilities to search for more objects. Yes. Look at that. And now we have the Goddess White Sword. Enhanced, you can learn a new melody, of course. Bye. Uh, this is kind of a given now. Anyway, I think I'm going to be cutting it here for this whole thing because, holy crap, that was just going all over the place. Because <laughs> I still got to figure out, like, where, like, what every goddess cube, like, leads to and whatnot. And yeah, I want to get that research out of the way now. So if you like this part, give it a like, subscribe if you want to watch future videos, and feel free to watch any of my previous videos, if you really feel like it. Uh, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're going to be hunting for more crap, and I think I'm going to be hunting for more heart pieces that we could have gotten a lot sooner, so see you guys then.